Hello everyone and welcome to Shelton Coast Farms here in Stardew Valley. My name is Melanie P. Okay, so this is going to be a compilation episode covering year three starting on the 13th and we're going to end up on the 16th of spring. Now we start the day as usual. Some crab cakes and some espresso. And then we head outside, check the mail. We were built a thousand G's from Harvey again. And it's down to the farm. Take care of the animals. And all the animals are doing pretty good. Then we sell some of the products we collected. Okay, and then decided to try making some stuff with the sewing machine. So I was just kind of testing different things to see what would make. I was really hoping to make hats because I still have that goal for 75 hats. So, out of all the stuff we tested, we did manage to find one thing that made a hat. And it was the warp totem. Well, it's not technically a hat, it's more of a mask, but same thing. Then we headed over into town for the Egg Festival. I bought some decoration, a few strawberry seeds. And then it was time for the festival. And we ended up finding a lot more eggs than everyone else. <laughs> so we won the festival and got a thousand G's for it. Then it was back to the farm and we headed over to Ginger Island. Just wanted to collect a few things from the auto grabber. And back to the mainland. And we had an early night. And that day we made 10,000 G's. And here we are the next day, crab cakes and coffee. And we head outside and it was a rainy day. And it was down to the animals to make sure everyone was doing okay. And we discovered a whole bunch of blue eggs because we forgot to check in on them yesterday. And it was back up to the farm, sold some stuff. And we went over to the shed to set down a few more kegs. And 
we collected some wine to sell. 178 bottles of ancient fruit wine. Then it was over to Ginger Island again. I had to go to the walnut room. So we still had not completed the prismatic Grange quest. And we checked out our perfection level before heading back to the mainland. Then we headed down to the greenhouse. And we checked in to see how much jelly was produced and grabbed 24 bottles. And we sold those bottles and all the wine we collected. Then over to the desert. Checked in with the auto grabbers, collected all the stuff we had. And we set up a Junimo chest right next to the desert, the Skull Cavern entrance. And we proceeded to chop down a few trees. Because there's always a need for wood. Then it was back to the valley again. Then we headed up to the Lost Valley Caves because there were still a few crafting items we needed to get from here. So we just kept navigating our way through. Collecting resources as we go. We found a lot of crates and stuff, but very few of them had any of the items we really needed. I broke open a few crates, but my backpack was full, so I could not collect the bone. But it wasn't one that we were missing anyway. And over to the next area we went. And we passed out. And we had an amazing sales day. We made 654,000 G's. Now day 15. Now we woke up in our own bed. Said good morning to Haley and to our little one. Then our typical breakfast. 
but this time we were out of crab cake, so we had to have a spicy eel. Then it was down to see the animals again. And animal were a little angry because they were not fed the previous day. And then I was back up to the farm, so looking on our shed and place down some new kegs. And now this room was completely filled. And then down again to the greenhouse. We made some preserved jars as well, so we needed to place those down. And we also collected some more strawberry jelly. Once again to the desert. Cleared out some of the trees before heading over to the desert trader. We needed to get some more artifact trolls, so we chatered our Omni Geodes for it. We're just missing a few artifacts at this point. And back to the valley we go. And we headed over to Ken, to Clint, not to Kent, to process some geodes. And out of all of those geodes and artifact trove, we only ended up with one single thing that we didn't have before. So we took it over to Gunter to donate. That was the rusty cog. So now we were just missing one single artifact, and that was the Bone Flute. And all our minerals were donated. So we head over to Cinder Sap to clear out a bunch of trees because we needed wood. Then we came across Katarina. Tried to gift her something, but we couldn't. So it was back to annihilating the trees. Once we had destroyed all of the trees in, the, in that area. And it was back to the farm. And we tried to collect some battery packs from the storm, but our backpack was full. Put a few things away. And out we go and collected our batteries. Then it was back to our pineapple shed. We still needed to get some 100% retaining soil and water on some of them. And once again, we head over to Ginger Island.
grab the fairy rose that were harvested. Now we planted these fairy rose because we needed to craft some fairy dust with it. Back to the walnut room to see the new quest for this week. And eventually we decided to pick the QI cuisine. And then we realized we still had not actually completed the prismatic range. And then it was off to bed. And we ended up making it 149,000 Gs for that day, which is pretty good. And we wake up on the island on day 16. And we got 350 Gs from Pierre. We then headed back to the valley. And it was down to our processing shed to make our fairy dust for the first time. So that's one last crafting recipe we needed to complete. And once again, the desert. Got a few more Omni Geodes. And we bought a couple artifact trolls. And then we drove ourselves back to Sardew Valley. And into the Lost Valley caves we go. Still needed to get a few items for the crafting which was proven to be quite difficult and hard to find. Found a few treasure chests, but none of them had anything like super useful. We broke open every crate we could find. And we found another artifact trove here, or three, which we definitely needed. And then we got to the bottom of the caves. So we headed back to the farm. We put some more hops into get process. And went ahead and sold some of the stuff. And then it was back down to the greenhouse. And we decided to plant some pumpkins in that open spot. And we added some more preserve jars to the line. So we needed to ship a few more items for our QI cuisine, which previously shipped 198 triple shot espresso. Well, not previously, earlier in the day. Now we needed 25 more, which we just made. And now we had to collect all we needed for the green display so we got some fiber for green 
sap for yellow, copper for orange. For purple, we use the void essence. Then we considered using some ancient fruits for the blue, but that seemed like an expensive idea. For the red, we had to use the holly and some salmon berries. And then we decided to use the crystal fruit, but thought maybe blackberry might work. Or maybe the snow yams would work. And it looks like the blackberry counts as blue, so we decided to go with that because it was the least valuable of all that we brought. And just like that, we had completed the quest. Then it was off to the slime area to get some hardwood and take down some slimes. We planted that single pineapple seed we just got from the slimes. I had sold all the pineapple seeds I had by accident, so this was the only pineapple seed we had. Then we cleared out this dig side area. Unfortunately, I did not have my hoe at the time, so I could not collect any of the worm spots. And grab some mushrooms from the cave. And then we call it the night on Ginger Island. So we managed to make our goal for today. But I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching.